It's for a good cause, I swear. By Sarah one two eight one. Chapter thirteen. At last, someone's sane. All right, I have half an hour before I need to be there for the end of the second part of the exam. Minato announced. Orochimaru had woken up sometime during the night, and Minato wanted to be there for the pre-torture interrogation. So did Obito and Itachi, actually. But Minato was too concerned that Orochimaru might say something about how the massacre wasn't his doing, and the last thing any of the Uchiha needed was to have the truth become a family secret. As Minato claimed that Obito had too much personal interest in the matter in order to exclude him, Itachi could not be in attendance either. Kakashi, however, decided to tag along. Ostensibly, it was because he could. But really, he wanted to see if the confrontation in the forest had raised the snake Sanin's suspicions or if he had any real idea about what happened the night of the massacre. Ibiki nodded. Understood. Even though Obiki didn't know the truth, he had been in that line of work far too long to ask any questions, should the subject come up. He opened the door to the containment room holding over Jima. Greetings, he said pleasantly. My name is Ibiki, and I'll be your interrogator for today. I would advise you to cooperate, as this part doesn't have to be painful. Orochimaru simply glared at him. Minato, you're looking well. I wish I could say the same, but you've apparently sold your soul to a snake demon. Minato returned evenly. We'll start with an nice easy question and work our way up from there, Ibiki informed his prisoner. What is your name? What's my name? Orochimaru repeated. If you didn't know that, then why in the world did you arrest me? Do you think I'm an imposter? If I were going to disguise myself, why would I choose the appearance of someone liable to get arrested, if not a dread killed in Ghana? What is your name? Ibiki asked again. Orochimaru sighed. There really was little point in antagonizing them on the basics. Orochimaru... How old are you? Ibiki asked. Orochimaru snorted. Why don't you go try and ask Tsunade that question? I'm sure you could provide us with your age just as well as she can. Ibiki countered calmly. How old are you? Fifty-one, Orochimaru replied. Why are you missing Nin? Ibiki asked. Because Sarutobi-sensei was an old fool, Minato is a young fool, and I wouldn't touch a cursed necklace. Orochimaru answered promptly. Mark that down as, I didn't become Hokage. The Yoindame had a problem with me experimenting on the people of Kanaha, and I wouldn't touch a cursed necklace. Tegachi advised. Why did you come back? Ibiki continued. I was feeling nostalgic. Nostalgic, Ibiki repeated. For what? The scenery? Attacking young prepubescent boys? The forest of death was always a favorite training ground for me and my snakes, Arajimaru insisted. And when I heard there was an exam going on, I decided to join in. Is that so wrong? You killed three green, unquote. Very well, have started an international incident, Minato pointed out. Not to mention the paperwork. It really is a good thing they signed those waivers, or I'd still be busy with that. I killed them before they signed the waivers, Orochimaru responded. Mom never leaves this room, Minato said warningly. Why did you go after Ujiha Sasuke? Ibiki asked. Well, since I was in the exam anyway, I decided to go all out. It was simply luck that led me to Sasuke Kun's team, Urujimaru said. Zagora's right, that does make him sound like a pedophile, Kakashi muttered. You are on record saying you would be back to try and steal one of the remaining Uchiha's buddies. Now you're back and went after one of the Uchiha, Ibiki remarked. Well, the other two would be Jonin, yes? Orochimaru asked rhetorically. So I suppose the smart thing to do would be to go after the youngest and most malleable. Sasuke is only malleable if you're offering him a new person to seek vengeance on. Gigashi added his two cents. And what's this about me being on record as saying that? Orochimaru demanded. To the best of my knowledge, I've never made any such claim. Well, I did when talking to Sasuke-kun a few days ago, but not before that. You did, Ibiki answered. Get out of the massacre. <laughs> Orochimaru's eye twitched. For the love of Akami, how many times do I have to tell you people that I am innocent? It might be a little more convincing if you weren't so unrepentantly evil, 
<laughs> Good guys, she can buy it. Be that as it may, we are not here to talk about the massacre. Minato spoke up. Ibiki, I do not want anything he says on that subject to make it into the records. Yes, okay, Sama. Ibiki agreed. And why is that? Ovechimaru sneered. Want to protect your precious student and your son's teammates from the knowledge that Itachi killed them? You wish to deny the involvement you so proudly proclaimed just four years ago in order to pin the blame on one of the few survivors? Minato asked his tone impassive. No, I do not want such a thing to reach their ears because it would only be claimed by someone with a malicious intent like you. Ibiki, let me know if he says anything else. Where's Kakashi? Sakura asked. Late, Sasuke replied shortly. Is that really so surprising? It shouldn't be, Sakura said. But he's actually been on time for all the official things, and I think I might actually be getting used to it. Not by choice he hasn't! Naruto grinned. That's what he gets for having people in his life, though! Besides us and Guy, of course. We had our own issues, and Guy was too easily sidetracked by rock, paper, scissor competitions Kakashi didn't even need to look up for. You know, Sakura said slowly, it just occurred to me how lucky we are that Kakashi didn't get Shigamaru as a Ganin. The three took a moment to silently contemplate the horrors of having quite possibly the laziest person ever, particularly before Azuma's death, and Kakashi, of all people, paired together. So you were asking about Kakashi? Naruto said, finally. He and my dad are witnessing the beginning of Ibiki's interrogations. They always ask a few questions before they do anything to see how cooperative the victim's going to be. My dad's there because it's a threat to village security. And Kakashi wanted to make sure that Snake who put the file doesn't know anything. Aside from the fact that we claimed that Jiraiya, or more specifically Naruto's godfather, who we all know is Jiraiya, was dead... I don't think we gave anything away, Sakura said slowly. The fact that Sasuke has a Miyankyo Sharingan isn't common knowledge, but it's not exactly a secret either. You know, Sasuke felt the need to point out, if you would just let me kill him like I wanted to, we wouldn't have to worry about this. Sasuke, Sasuke, if we let you kill everyone you wanted to, you would be classified as a natural disaster, Naruto said flatly. I'm not that bad, Sasuke argued. Sakura? Naruto asked, How about it? Sakura informed Sasuke, I hate you both. Sasuke informed them seriously, So I mean! Naruto said airily, Besides, you've seen how shocked everyone is that you just managed to put Rojimaru in a position to be captured. Sakura reminded him, Imagine how they'd react if you managed to kill him. We simply do not need that kind of scrutiny. No one would have to know it was me, Sasuke said. I'm pretty sure the Yamanakas have some kind of jutsu that works posthumously. Zachary countered. Well, if I destroyed the brain, then that wouldn't be a problem, Sasuke insisted. Yeah, but then everyone would start freaking out because there was an S-Class missing nin gate crushing and some other mysterious and potentially nefarious vigilante on the prowl, Naruto replied. And then they could very well cancel the exam! Or at the very least, make us drop out! And do you remember what Kakashi said about if we don't pass this exam? Sasuke couldn't suppress a shiver. Yes, I agreed to let him live for now, didn't I? I never thought I'd see the day when something was more important to Sasuke than revenge. Sakura said, shaking her head in awe. Even if that something is avoiding guys' training. I think he's making progress. I don't know, Naruto said. He already killed the unholy alliance in this timeline and everyone else we wanted revenge on in the previous one. The fight has already gotten vengeance could explain why he's more patient about getting it again. Sasuke decided to ignore them as a bedraggled Eno chose that moment to jump on his back. Sasuke Gun! I'm so glad you passed! Eno beamed at him. Not that I had any doubt, of course. I'm so glad to be out of that pose after five days. I honestly can't believe I survived five days with Shingo. You know, if you haven't bathed in five days, currently get off of me. Says Gate Older, removing her arms from their strangle hold around his neck. Huh? You mean you have? You know, blinked surprised. But how? 
It calls for being incredibly awesome and finishing the exam in six hours. That's how Kiba declared, walking up to them leisurely. Oh, by being Sasuke. Hey, your brother doesn't talk much, does he? You don't think much, do you? Sasuke countered. Sakura, I am so happy to see that you have made it past the second round! They said cheerfully, clasping her head. Now we are one step closer to the path of churning and true love! I said I'd think about it, Sakura corrected, and only after we're friends first. How good for! Lee exclaimed, and Sasuke, I will fight you in the finals! I Neji, Sasuke responded monotonously. If it is fainted. Lee and Tenda both immediately shot looks at their teammate, but he paid no comment. No mind. Hang on! Tamari! Over here! No more top called. The sand siblings made their way over to where the Bookie Nan and Guy's team were waiting. These guys are great! Naruto vouched for the team from Suna. Even the evil soulless puppet wielder, Choji asked. Well, he's decent! Naruto admitted. Hey, Naruto. Kenkuro said pleasantly. I see you forgot to greet me. Not to worry, I know that these things happen sometimes. Sakura! Naruto asked dangerously. Yes? She asked innocently. Why is Kenkuro smirking knowingly at me? Naruto inquired. Is he? I didn't notice. Sakura lied. I know! There's no way you would have figured it out so soon! Sasuke doesn't actually care enough to fill him in, and I don't think he's even my Kakashi! Did you tell him? No, don't demanded. Sakura winced. Maybe? Sakura! Naruto yelled. What? I was only trying to help! Sakura insisted. You know, so we can speed up the healing. I hate seeing them like this! Naruto after. Oh, whatever! Kami, you're not going to apologize to Kabuto for that fire incident next, are you? Oh, Kami now! Sakura said, sounding shocked. I have limits, you know! So you're the new guys, huh? Tenden asked. New guys? Tamari repeated. We're not new, just from Suna. Naruto seems to make it a point to collect friends, Tenjin explained. People may try to resist, notably Niji, but in the end it's inevitable. You'll either become his friend or die trying not to be. That's kind of morbid, Tenjin noted. Only if you're one of the stubborn ones, Tenjin replied, holding out her hand. I'm Tenjin, by the way. Tamari. Tamari introduced herself, taking the offered hand. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I think you may be the sanest person I've met here. I get that a lot, Ten Ten confessed. Hello everyone, my name is Ujiha Obito and I am the proctor for the third exam. As the time limit has officially passed, so the 21 of you that are here have technically passed the second exam, Obito announced. What do you mean, technically? Shino asked. Ten and a half matches would go on for far too long, so we're going to have preliminary matches, Obito explained. What? That's no fair! Keeper protested. Yeah! We made it through the second stage! We should get to go to the third stage! Hino agreed. The second exam is not over until we say it's over, Obito said sternly. And if you guys are seriously going to play it this much every time you hear something you don't like, you're not ready to be tuning. Wisely, everyone else decided to withhold their objections. Great, now since we have an odd number of people, that would mean that either one person would have to fight themselves, Obito informed them, and while this isn't always easy for most people, nor the judge is trying to determine if the person won or lost, I've seen it done. Couldn't the old man out just get a bye? Kabuto asked sensibly. There are no free rides, Obito declared. You want a promotion, you have to earn it. That said, would anybody like to choose this time to quit? Preferably one, three, or even five of you? There's always the possibility the person fighting themselves may win and we'd be stuck with an odd number for the third exam. While that can also be done, it doesn't reflect well on your mental health and we do have some minimum sanity requirements that must be met for promotion. I could see why that might cause problems. Kabuto nodded sagely. Well, I'm out then. Hey Kabuto, you know how this is like your seventh time taking the exam? Naruto asked. Better than you, yes. Kabuto replied. I am a as to why that is! You will give up at the first opportunity! Naruto cried. I do not! Kabuto defended himself. The first opportunity was before the tenth question. You tried to give up when Anko showed up, though. Sasuke noted. Can you blame me? 
I, you're not even the one she managed in. Gave a call out. You're still not over that? Sakura asked. It was traumatic. And troublesome. Shigamaru contributed. I'm starting to think we could just replace you with a button that says troublesome when you press it. Tamari told him. If it wouldn't be so troublesome to look into that, I probably would. Shigamaru replied. Giving up at the second opportunity is different from the first. Kabuto maintained. Whatever helps you train for your 8th exam, Naruto said simply. So, does this mean that we can just have 10 normal matches without trying to unbalance any of us further? Toji asked. Obito nodded. But first, a few words from our Okage. Where is he? Konkuro asked. Right here, Minato said, strolling into the room, Kakashi at his heels. You're late, Sensei! Sakura said automatically. Sorry, I was on my way here when I decided to try stalking a pinky! It was an experience, Kakashi said, looking distant. I wish I could tell if he was lying, Sakura said. We're probably better off not knowing, Sasuke assured her. I see that quite a few of you have made it through the forest of death, and let me congratulate you for that. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, Minato began. Naruto snorted quietly. Time constraints, please! We waited three hours for Sasuke! We have no choice but to have a preliminary round right now. Normally, you would all be on equal footing as you would be fresh from five days of survival training. But this time, nearly half of the remaining applicants finished inordinately early. But being well rested is just their reward for doing so well on the exam. This year has some of the most talented Ganin that I've seen in the exams for quite some time. So I'm sure that with a little extra training, you can all pass an exam in the near future. Even if that exam is not necessarily this one. Obito, would you like to announce the matchups? Certainly, Hokage-sama, Obito said respectfully as he went over to the computer. The computer will randomly match you all up. We're going to run through all of you before we start the matches, so if you're scheduled to go first, don't worry. You still have a few minutes to prepare yourself. Tamari versus Ino. Sakura versus Hinata. Choji versus Shino. Kenkuro versus Nishi. Kara versus Zaku. Naruto versus Yoroi. Shikamaru vs. Misumi, Ten Ten vs. Sasuke, Kin vs. Kiba, Lee vs. Dosu. No! Lee cried, falling to his knees. What is it now? Lee demanded. I'm. I'm lost! Lee said, sounding heartbroken. Well, you have to learn patience sooner or later. Naji sounded like he was trying to convince himself. Um. Gara? Kangaro asked tentatively. Are you alright? Oh yes, Gara replied. Zaku's not on the list. List? Sasuke asked blankly. You don't want to know, Sakura told him. You sure this doesn't bother you? Kangaro asked, raising his eyebrows. Baby steps, Naruto said firmly.